Ron Wildman in on your uh, Middle Georgia Spotlight. And we're spotlighting cherry blossom time in Macon, Georgia, USA. And we have the marketing and events manager for the festival this year, Era Adams. Era, welcome. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Uh, you, this is your first year with this festival, mm -hmm. but you're a, a native of Macon. I am. I am born and raised in Macon. I attended Mountain Sales Academy. Um, I was actually also a 2009 Cherry Blossom Princess, so well, you really have a little that. behind the scenes of the Cherry Blossom. Yeah. <laughs> you got some stories you could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everything's going on schedule, but there will be some uh, special arrangements in this mm -hmm. pandemic year. Correct. So, one of the major things are our events. We've expanded the footprint for quite a few of them, um, in particular our gala. So, the Fiesta Ball this year will be held outdoors. It will be on Poplar Street. It's normally in the auditorium, but we move that outdoors. So, that's one of our major event differences. Well, that's a key thing. Almost everything's outdoor, if mm -hmm. not everything. Mm -hmm. I think just the round buildings will be used for some souvenir sales and tree right. sales. But other than that, we're outdoors all the way. Everything is outdoors. Let's get this out of the way about mm -hmm. what are the restrictions? Masks? Yes, so masks will be required at all events. Um, the only time you're not required to wear your mask is if you're eating or drinking, of course. We will be doing temperature checks at all entry checkpoints. And we have added hand, hand sanitizing and hand washing stations throughout the event and the park. You know, we're bringing vendors in also. Mm -hmm. I imagine they're real happy about having yes. this. <laughs> yes, they are excited. Um, and not just the vendors, even downtown restaurants and businesses are excited oh, yes. for, the, for the, the amount of people that we anticipate having. Well, Stacey Moore, our president, mm -hmm. plus the board and everybody else, mm -hmm. uh, you might say taking a chance at this, but if you do it right, it's going to be great. It'll be great. And, yes. it, and it looks like you're going to do it right. This here's the list of instructions. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, and we're going to follow uh, the governor and the mm -hmm. mayor's uh, guidelines, aren't Correct. we? Correct. Yes. Yes. And, and uh, along with the uh, mask and hand sanitizer, mm -hmm. we'll have rides uh, in Central City Park or Carolyn Creighton Park yes. now, as it's called. Yes. Uh, how will we handle the rides as far as the sanitation? Sure. So we have a great midway provider, and this will actually be they they produce a couple of other events, fairs, and things of that nature. So they have the sanitation spray and products that they use. So we'll be going based off of what they their protocols that they have. So you figure if you look out for yourself, keep your mm -hmm. distance from folks, a comfortable distance. Mm -hmm. Wear the mask. There should be no problems at no all. Problems with there won't be any problems. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, opening ceremonies. Yes. Those will be held on Friday, March 19th at 12 p.m. And that will be when we do the ribbon cutting and everything for them. Well, the uh, renaming of Central City Park be a mm -hmm. part of that opening ceremony? So we will be reading the proclamation to Carolyn Creighton for that. That's quite an honor, isn't it? It is. It surely is. Mm -hmm. You've known her a long time, haven't you? I have. I have. When you were a princess, uh, going around all those events, you probably followed her around, didn't you? For the much. most part. Yeah. yeah. The royalty has a very extensive schedule, so they are at just about every event. They're a very essential part. And I see on this uh, schedule also, mm -hmm. if uh, on Monday, uh, well, the w first weekend, the first weekend, that's yes. what we want to go to. Sure. Uh, the, what are some of the events on the first weekend? So that first weekend, that Saturday on the 20th. We the ball, by the way, is going to be that Friday night is. after but the yes. ribbon cutting. Yes, so yeah. the ball will be that Friday. And then the rides and everything else will be opened up, too. Correct. Yeah, yes. okay. Yes. Well, let's move on to Saturday. Then. Yes, <laughs> so Saturday we will do the wiener dog race and the bed race. Uh, major difference this year is that those will be virtual. Now, how will you do that? So we will have, um, we'll have police presence, of course. If you're dining and, you know, shopping downtown and you're just an encore, that's fine. But we want to try to make sure people aren't congregating and watching. You don't want to pack them in. Like right. You, correct. And you do pack them in. Yes. Like <laughs> yes. So that's our main goal is just to make sure that we don't have large crowds congregating. Um, but we will be broadcasting and live streaming those events. Um, and those will be held on that Saturday morning. And that Sunday, of course, is the parade, which will also be virtual this year. Well, that's going to be interesting. Yes. <laughs> yes, so the only people present will be the participants. But like I said, we'll be streaming it and broadcasting it, so everyone will still be able to enjoy it. And we want people to visit the restaurants and things like they normally do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah so we want to curtail that. Mm -hmm. As we start the week off, uh, usually Monday through Friday, we have uh, Third Street Park activities. Yes, yes. So those will still be in full swing. Um, we'll still have the ice cream, donuts, and Coca-Cola giveaway. Well, that's what we really care about. <laughs> Yes, so that will be Monday through Friday that week. And we'll have music. 
Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, each night there's there are events going on uh, at uh, Carolyn Creighton Park. And that's yes. going to be the main focus mm -hmm. of everything this year. Yes. So we have the uh, nightly concert series. We have different headliners each evening. And you can go to the website to see who we'll have for a particular evening. Um, one major thing that we're doing this year at Carolyn Creighton Park is family movie night. And we will be featuring a Disney film. And before movie night, we will have a Princess and Poodle party. So you can dress up like your favorite characters um, and come out and meet the royalty. And the kids can have a good time before the movie begins. I see on this uh, schedule that uh, mm -hmm. Stacy provided me, uh, family movie night will be Tuesday. Yes. That's the 23rd. The 23rd and that correct. Frozen 2. Yes. That's that a movie. Mm -hmm. There it is. Is there any music in there? It is a lot of music in there, <laughs> yes. <laughs> It is. Mm -hmm. You hear these little girls singing this stuff exactly. all the time. Exactly. <laughs> uh, moving along to Wednesday, mm -hmm. uh, Soul, let's see, Reese Soul and the Intrudes. Yes, Reese Soul and the Interludes. They will be Interludes. the headliner that Wednesday. Needed my glasses. <laughs> Didn't know I was going to read so much. <laughs> and uh, on Thursday, the Ultimate Dance Party at uh, Carolyn Creighton Park. Yes. They'll have a... AJ the DJ. AJ the DJ will oh, be. I understand. He, he's really good. He's great, yes. Yeah. And on Friday, uh, the ultimate Beatles experiment, mm -hmm. uh, experience. Mm -hmm. So that's more so like a tribute to, their band is a tribute to the Beatles. Those guys that put on these type shows are usually mm -hmm. better than the original. <laughs> anyway. I know they have the hair and everything like that. Right. Well, the way they play it, they, they are so good at what they do. Of course, the, the, the stars of the festival, and it Probably suffice as what used to be the street party. Mm -hmm. We have Lone Star on Saturday night. Yes. So for Party in the Park on Saturday, Lone Star is our featured artist. So they will be performing that evening. Now, uh, to uh, visit any of these events, mm -hmm. you have to get a ticket into the area? Correct. So essentially the concerts are free as long as you pay the admission at the gate. Just admission. Mm -hmm. what, and what is that this year? If I'm not mistaken, it's $5. Five right. bucks. That's mm -hmm. not much these that, days. Hey, you get a lot for your free money. You sure huh? <laughs> well, without Lone Star, surely it costs a lot more to go see Lone Star. Same price. Really? Yeah. Five bucks that night? Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. You'll have a crowd there that night. Too. Oh, yes. Well, you'll yeah. have a crowd every night. Every but, night, yes. But I, I imagine that that's a big area down there, and you'd be yes. spread out pretty yes. good. Yes. So what we've done at Carolyn Creighton Park, has we've created pods for people, so we can ensure the social distancing down there with the that. pods? So you'll be, if you were to come with me, we can sit in our pod and enjoy it, and we'll be distant from everyone else. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what about the food situation at mm -hmm. uh, Carolyn Creighton Park? So we still plan to have the concessionaires down there. Um, of course, they'll be taking their own safety protocol as far as wearing masks, you know, having hand sanitizer and washing, but we'll still have the concessionaires there. Well, you know, a lot of people, not here in Macon, but mm -hmm. from other places, are going to be watching how this takes place because mm -hmm. this week alone, I was in Dublin, mm -hmm. and that's a month-long uh, St. Patrick's Festival down there. Mm -hmm. Called it off. Okay. The Harness Festival, which is held the first week in April mm -hmm. in uh, Hawkinsville, mm -hmm. they called it off. And the uh, Presithia, which is up in uh, Monroe Perfect. County, mm -hmm. uh, they, they're not sure what they're going to do. Okay. They're kind of in the air. So mm -hmm. this is kind of a laboratory in a way. Yes. Yes. So that's why we're going to do it right. That's right. <laughs> it's going to mean a lot. It really is going to mean a lot for future events for all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. And it started on New Year's Day when the Rose Parade was mm -hmm. canceled. Mm -hmm. That's big time stuff there. Yes. yes. So. Now, uh, you have other special days. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, Heroes Day on Monday. Yes, so Heroes Day, of course, is honoring all our, our military first responders. We'll have discounted um, rates for them throughout the park. That's free admission. Free admission. To active military. Active and retired. Yeah, retired. Mm -hmm. and, and veterans, and yeah. veterans, correct. And uh, uh, we have $2 Tuesday on uh, the next day at $2 specials. Yes, so we partnered this year with All About Animals, which is the Make and Rescue. Yeah. And um, as long as you bring one of the items for donation to them, you get $2 admission and $2 um, discounts at the concession. That's on Tuesday and on Wednesday, uh, Seniors Day. Yes. So for seniors, they also get discounted admission and rides and, and concessions that day as well. Moving to Thursday, it's a thirsty one. It is. <laughs> thirsty Thursday. So... We will be having drink specials, and we will also be having a specialty drink, the Pink Lady. And, uh, of course, on Saturday, with Lone Star down there, there's going to be kind of a, a party atmosphere mm -hmm. in the park, too. Mm -hmm. Party in the park. 
Anything mm -hmm. special on that? Lone Star. Lone Star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when you were the princess back then, what, yeah. what did you like most about this? How old were you when you were a princess? 17, maybe. 17. Mm -hmm. well, it hadn't been 16, that long 17. ago, has it? It has. <laughs> oh, it has? It has. <laughs> <laughs> they go by fast, don't it they? It surely does. Yeah. It surely does. Yeah, well, what, what was it like for you? I loved it. I enjoyed it. From the pageant itself, into the actual festival. I mean, like I said, the royalty plays a very central part there at a lot of, well, pretty much all of the events. So from being formal at the ball, you know, to participating in the bed race and wiener dog race. So it's very, it was exciting. You meet a lot of people. Back then we had the street party, which was very fun. So, yeah. the, uh, uh, There's very few events for young ladies to participate in, like, like mm -hmm. that, like that mm -hmm. uh, cherry bomb. And I think a, a couple of years ago, they kind of elevated it to where it wasn't so local, uh, out of area mm -hmm. people participated. But mm -hmm. I think we're getting back to the, uh, to the local original aspect. intent where yes. young ladies like you mm -hmm. can really have a chance to, mm -hmm. to win that thing. Right, know. right. What's well, your favorite event? Ooh. Maybe you're tired of them all. Already. No, 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 no. <laughs> By now. Um, <laughs> Ooh, planning aspect really puts things into oh, perspective oh, for yeah, you yeah, about yeah. it. Um, I would have to say, well, this year is going to be different because it's virtual, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed in the past um, the wiener dog and the bed race. It's just really fun. It's that different. It's fun. It's something that you don't, you know, normally attend. So. That wiener dog thing has really caught fire. It is. It, it is. Love that. You'd be surprised how many people have wiener dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another of my favorite that I've actually come down from school to attend was the food truck frenzy. So we do that the same weekend as the Mulberry Arts and Craft Street Festival, and it's food trucks from all over that just you should come and eat. It's this great. is a, <laughs> the 39th annual festival, it and uh, some of the stuff like the food trucks we didn't mm -hmm. have up until more recently. Recent, correct. And that's been a real hot item. It is uh, it for is. the festival. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I understand. I know it's not the same as the Cherry Box Festival, but that Mulberry Street Arts and Crafts Festival, mm -hmm. they're going to hold that this year. They will be holding that this year as well. That's just a nice adjunct to our uh, Cherry Box Festival. It is. Yeah. It is. And uh, um, have we heard anything about the, the blossoms themselves? Have you talked to anybody? Does it look like they're going to come out? Like, maybe not like this. <laughs> <laughs> but similar to. Um, so, from what my understanding is that they do very well the colder the longer that it is that it's colder. So since we've had pretty, you know, cold weather recently, we're hoping that they bloom perfectly. Well, you know what I think might be a good hint? Uh, all the other blossoms on the trees, like yes. the Japanese magnolias mm -hmm. and the uh, crab apple trees and, yeah. and the other are just glorious yeah. this year. I've noticed that so far. So. And uh, so that might be a good indication of what we're going Hopefully to get. Hopefully so. Because mm -hmm. the last couple of years has been kind of a little mm -hmm. iffy, you know. Mm -hmm. But maybe yeah. this year we'll have a show that we've had most of our cherry blossom exactly. festivals. Yeah. Now, um, the closing night activities, mm -hmm. uh, where is that going to be? This year that will be at Middle Georgia State University. And what are they going to do out there? So we'll have tunes and balloons, so like the traditional t balloon glow. Um, and we'll have making pops performing. So we'll have live music. We'll have food. And then, of course, the balloon glow. And then we'll end it with the fireworks finale show. So you gotten any indication about the... Uh, the uh, hot air balloon people, are they coming in? They're coming in. They're coming in. And if the weather's good, we'll be able to take a couple rides. Well, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You ever been up on one of those? I have not. It is amazing. Okay. It's so quiet up there. I don't but know. But you can hear <laughs> you can hear somebody talking down there. I mean, you, it, that voice just carries it up carries. there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a height person, so I'm not sure if, <laughs> if I like that. But <laughs> if I was going to go up in something, I'd want to go up in that. In the hot air balloon? Yeah, it's... Uh, it's so uh, steady. Mm -hmm. it's fun there. Mm -hmm. Now, Carolyn Creighton, uh, this park being named in her honor, uh, the mm -hmm. city of uh, the city in the Kent County, well, Macon did, yes. uh, have done this, and they're going to read mm -hmm. the proclamation at the opening. But right. this really adds a lot to the festival. It, it has sure does. Her imprint on her that honor park. Her honor is for sure. Yeah, for sure. And uh, great recognition. Yeah. Now, what's the Jesse Kingdom shows? Jurassic Kingdom. Jurassic. Yes. Where's my glasses? <laughs> so that's one of the exhibits that we're hosting. Um, and it's, Jurassic Kingdom. Yeah. It it's, it's, say, a it <laughs> <say that. laughs> it's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur show. So we'll be, um, it's like interactive dinosaurs that kids can come out and live like you're in the dinosaur age, I suppose. <laughs> uh, how often is it going to be there? It will be there all 10 days. 
And it says shows at one, three, and five. Yes, correct. Yeah. So they're in 30 minute increments three times a day. Have you seen it? I have not. But I hear it. It's great. Yes. Yeah. I'm excited to see that in the, the water. Yeah, the, the acrobatic. aquatic acrobatic yes. show. Yes. And there's shows at uh, two, four, and six to complement, I guess. Correct. You have them meshed together? Yes. And what's that all about as far as you know? So, um, I mean, pretty much what they say, the aquatic, the aquatic acrobats, they will be doing, you know, flips and turns in the water. In your uh, job as a marketing and mm-hmm. uh, exhibit, uh, you've talked to a lot of these people that you're bringing into town. What's their mm-hmm. attitude about getting back to work again? You know, most of these people haven't been working for the past Yes, year. yes. So people are really excited. Um, and our stance on it is, you know, just making sure everyone feels comfortable and safe. But everyone is excited to, and like I said, even earlier with our outside vendors and just downtown Macon, just, you know, to be able to have people come in and, and shop. Big difference a year mm-hmm. made in this. Last year, uh, Katie Hart, who's with mm-hmm. you guys, what's her title down there? She is the Director of Operations. By the way, she was you last year mm-hmm. sitting there. Mm-hmm. And the week after we did this program and after it ran, they had to call the program mm-hmm. off. It was heartbreaking because mm-hmm. I know Stacy is really. Oh yes, it's a lot of hard work that goes into it leading up. So to cancel that close to the festival. And then on top of that, a lot of there was a lot of fear going around. You know, mm-hmm. we need to be fearful of this, but mm-hmm. not like we were a year ago. Correct. Okay. Correct. And we have uh, more knowledge now. These vendors, mm-hmm. some of them were afraid to get mm-hmm. out and get into mm-hmm. this stuff. They didn't know what was going to happen. Right. Right. And so now we, we've got procedures set up mm-hmm. and uh, safety measures, and uh, it should be uh, uh, full steam ahead. A good time. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, how is the ball going to work? Have you heard any, any working? It's going to be outside, but mm-hmm. uh, what, it's going to be a, a, a kind of a special tribute to a certain nation? Yes. So this year we're honoring Mexico. So the theme is CCS the ball. So uh-huh. we will have, it'll be, you know, decor, the theme for Mexico, and then our menu. It's a Mexican theme. I imagine it would be really colorful. It is. Yeah, it's it's very cool. bright and colorful. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to have a pasta. Pasta on pasta. Now, it's yes. going to be at the last weekend, isn't it? It will be. It will be yeah. that, that second Friday. Tell folks what that's all about. That's yeah. something fairly, well, it's fairly new. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is. So in years past, we've done a harvest table. Um, but, of course, with our new protocols, we will have the tables broken out. But we'll still, it will still be the same aspect. Um you just come down and enjoy. It's more so of a cocktail dinner, cocktail attire dinner, and then we'll have a saxophone is playing. It's just dinner under the stars and Macon. Nice dinner. And the food? The food is catered by Prickly Pear. Uh-huh. And it's a nice Italian menu that we have. Italian inspired menu, I should say. That, uh, uh, they had it at uh, Mercer, and then they had it down on Poplar Street, the mm-hmm. two that we've had so mm-hmm. far. And they all were complete sellouts. In fact, mm-hmm. they were doing it on the bridge at Mercer. Correct. And it was so big, they had to move to it move to Walker Street because exactly. they handled the crowd that mm-hmm. wanted to do that. Mm-hmm. And I, I guess we're expecting a bigger turnout this, this yes. year again. Yes. Yeah. And both the ball and pasta do require reservations, and those tickets are on sale on our website now. Okay. So. Well, you just get all the information on the website. Yes. We should Correct. be mentioning that because everything's on that website. Yeah, everything is on the website. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I, I saw on that uh, Tuesday night uh, mm-hmm. uh, get together on here. It says uh, donate two items to All About Animals at the gate. That's yes. where you get your uh, two dollar entry fee. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What kind of items are you talking about? Um, so like blankets. I believe food might be on that list. Uh, but we have a. It's about eight to ten items that they send over to us to suggest for people to bring out. So and that's all listed on the website as well. Typical animal. Correct. Items and mm-hmm. everything. Yes, sir. And mm-hmm. saves you three dollars to get in there. Exactly. Yeah, well, that's a good deal. <laughs> and it's for yeah. a good cause, you know. Oh yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. The bed race. Have you ever uh, been involved with that when you were a princess? No, I was just a, a onlooker that year. But I mean, it's it's fun and it's funny too. <laughs> but it's like I said, that and the wiener dog race are just things that you don't typically, you know, attend. So it's it's different and exciting. Well, it draws a lot of folks usually. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be hard to keep folks from coming down to watch that. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do to keep them out? Well, like I said, we'll have a lot of police presence. So the sheriff's office has been great with working with us and just ensuring, like I said, that crowds don't congregate to onlook. So. Now, you uh, joined up last year. Mm-hmm. And what's it like 
the other, uh, what, 50 uh, weeks of the year down there mm -hmm. at the Pink House for you guys? Well, this year was a little different because of COVID. So we've been doing a lot of work from home. But we still have our weekly staff meetings and our board meetings. Um, and even at home, it, it might be, I've never worked in the office, but I've been very busy at home myself. So it's a lot of planning that leads up to it. You still have a lot of deadlines to meet as far as permitting and things of that nature. So the closer it gets to the festival, it's more so just like run a show and logistics, logistical things. But all year is planning. I can't imagine being left on my own at home and expected <laughs> to do some work. Is that hard to do or is that easy to do? It, it has its days. It has its days. I'm very productive with it. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's good to be able to go to your refrigerator and kitchen and just grab something and go back to the desk. So, that's a, that's a plus. Prior to you coming today here, mm -hmm. you had a pretty big meeting, one of the yes. big staff meetings. Yes. What goes on at these staff meetings? Oh, gosh. You need a new brain when you leave, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, like I said, without us being in the office every day, I actually enjoy them because we kind of feed off of each other and make sure, you know, we have everything in place and there's ideas thrown out. So we kind of jump across the board at different events, but it helps. It helps to make sure you have everything in order. So. I mentioned earlier about these vendors that are anxious to get back in the groove again mm -hmm. because of these other cancellations. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and You've talked to some over a period of time. What's their attitude on this? As far as vendors and, their, and getting back into the action again. Into it. Um, so, well, particularly I work with the food truck vendors a lot, yeah. and they are super excited because, you know, food trucks typically are like a summer yeah, type yeah, of thing. Yeah. They get out in the summer for different events, and they didn't have that this past summer. So I've had I've waitlisted people, honestly, because people are just so excited to get back into the event, event realm of things. Usually these trucks specialize in a certain mm -hmm. thing. And what are some of the things we look forward to? So we have a barbecue truck. We have a brunch truck, which is really neat. Uh, seafood. We have an um, island noodles. It's, it's a variety. And what we try to do also is that um, we cross-reference their menus. So we make sure that each food truck is selling a different item. So everyone kind of has a variety of things to choose from versus it being the same thing in each truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, where are they going to be parked? So this year we've expanded the footprint for that as well, and that will be from on Third Street from Waltberry to Cherry, and then Cherry down to MLK. Well, we're on the subject of food. Uh, mm -hmm. The pancake breakfast—that's yes. uh, that's really a wonderful event. I mean, it is. you've attended it over the mm -hmm. years. It just brings the community together yes. better than about anything else we do. Mm -hmm. I think oh, that's what a lot of people look forward to, and um, I'm excited that it, they will be hosting it this year. Um, they'll have a different concept this year, but I think it will be something that's very very exciting and a new tradition, we can say. So it'll still be the pink pancake breakfast, but a lot of new things. And you're hesitant to talk about it because it's going to, to be a big announcement. It's going to be a big announcement. It will be. <laughs> so we're not going to break the news here. <laughs> I will say that they're, they're planning to put on a great event, so and they're teaming up with a, another great organization to do so. So which you can't talk about either. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now. Uh, down at Third Street Park during mm -hmm. the, the midday, of yes. course, the free ice cream and mm -hmm. the donuts and Coca-Cola mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the music. Is it going to be different kinds of music or what are we going to have down there? So we'll have DJ uh, Laura Starling. She will be down there. Oh, DJing Laura, yeah. Yes. That'd mm -hmm. be great. Mm -hmm. be good to see Laura. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's going to bring her a vast library. I'm stuff. sure she will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She'll have a variety of music yeah, throughout well, the week. Laura's very entertaining. Mm -hmm. She'll do a good job for you down mm -hmm. there. Now, uh, getting this ready and everything, what's the hardest part uh, on your end uh, to put a cherry blossom festival together? Well, for me, so Katie, she handles everything as far as logistics inside the park. In the park. So I'm everything outside the park. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot of events. So just, you know, organization is key with me. So just making sure to stay on top of things for each different event. I have the whole page of it. How do you do this? It is. It is. Yeah. Katie and I, I mean, Katie has a lot going on in the park, too. She has headliners each night, you know, different vendors and concessionaires. And then for me, it's just different events throughout the week. So. And uh, what will your job be during the week? You, you got it all down. Everything is all set to go. Mm -hmm. You just got to make sure that everything it, runs smoothly. And, and you'll be all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you communicate uh, during that week? Well, we'll have earpieces this year, so oh, really? that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, how about security? 
uh, for, for this. He said we're going to have the sheriff's department yes. involved a lot, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, we've got to look out for different things. We've got to look out for violators of the health mm -hmm. issues. Of mask mandates. And, okay. and we want to make it safe. And then we right. have never, hardly ever had a problem with the cherry blossom festival. Mm -hmm. Who wants to create a problem at our cherry blossom festival? That's right. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, Bibb County Sheriff's Office has been great working with them so far. So that's that's who we've got helping us out for the most part this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we don't know for sure whether we have the horse and carriage ride around there. Yet. Right. Right. If he if he decides to come down there, he'll be there. But we didn't technically book that for this. Well, year. that would fall under kind of a health thing. That it he would. would. He would want to be careful right. too because right. that you're very close unless you mm -hmm. ride by yourself. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So. Stay away from the horse. <laughs> The, uh, this was the 39th, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember over the years that uh, sometimes the weather is not the best. Mm -hmm. I remember the first uh, couple of festivals, mm -hmm. we had snow. Oh, wow, and really? Sweet. And then uh, we've had a blizzard in the middle of March. I do remember. We don't want to scare folks off. No, 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 what no. I'm saying. But then we've had gorgeous days in between. Yes. So, fingers crossed that we had those gorgeous days. That's, that's what we're hoping for, praying for. Well, we're going to be a good example for some of these other festivals that right. are going to come on later on, and mm -hmm. they'll be copying a lot of what we do to protect mm -hmm. the public and uh, for them to look out for themselves. Exactly. Too. exactly. Yeah. The uh, uh, Purple Madness thing with uh, a tribute to Prince. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything about that program? So I've never physically experienced it. I have seen videos, and from what I've seen and heard, honestly. That and the Michael Jackson tribute are phenomenal, I've heard. So I'm excited to. You know, it's just like one line in this thick list of things, but some of these things are just out of this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and of course, you've gotten sneak previews, uh, previews because you had to line them up and bring them into town here. Right. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the, uh, the Michael Jackson experience, uh, what is that? So um, it's a tribute to Michael Jackson, so it'd be an impersonation as well. A live thing? Mm -hmm. um, it will be. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Do we have any, uh, like, uh, video presentations of stuff uh, incorporated in any of these uh, programs? Um, not that I'm familiar with. There might be. Katie foresees all of that, so she oversees all of that, but as far as I'm not understanding. Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, even the live performers have mm -hmm. this background anymore that look really good. Right, that look, they, they do. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the policy on bringing food and drink into the park? No food, no drink in the park. But we want to support these vendors. That's right. As much as we as can. As much as we can. We've got to really right. appreciate your coming, too. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And the, uh, the uh, amusement rides, what have you heard about them? How do they handle their situation? Yeah, so um, Katie mentioned a Clorox 360 is like a super disinfectant. And if I'm not mistaken, that's what they use. And so after each ride, they will go in and spray for the next, next round. So See, all these people also kind of under the gun to do... A good festival mm -hmm. because they want a job next week exactly. and the week after the week after. Exactly. And if these festivals keep canceling, they're not going to have those right. jobs. Right. Now, mm -hmm. I understand the uh, National Fair is going to come yes, back I this year. So this might be a good indication of what they'll be doing down there. Exactly. I know exactly. Stacy worked down there for many mm -hmm. years, so there's a connection there. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of a trial You're run for the uh, <laughs> National Fair. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you all. I wish you the best. Thank you, thank this. you. We and, appreciate uh, that. And the next time I'm going to bring my glasses <laughs> and I'll be able to read this. Stuff. You're quite all right. Yeah. Well, th thank you uh, of very much. My and, uh, pleasure. Era, Era. Era, Era mm -hmm. Adams. Yes, and that's A R A H, as they see on the screen. We've been uh, mm -hmm. doing your name. <laughs> tell me about that name. Okay, Era. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So, Is there a story behind it? Um, I don't know if it's a fun story, but it's a story. So, my dad's middle name is O'Hara. So, they spell that backwards. Well, I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> I said my mom had a lot of time to figure that out, to think about that. So. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you people. Of course. Thank you Definitely. very much. Thank you. We appreciate and it. And have a good time. Thank I know you. we'll all have a good time. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And thank you folks for being with us. I'm Ron Wildman here.